having a very good challenging case now i am going to discuss with you okay 32 year old female mm-hmm. with primary infertility of 5 years and 35 year old husband semen analysis of husband is seems normal 42 million count and 48% of motility with 3% of normal morphology and they had underwent multiple cycles of ovulation induction iui laparoscopy hysteroscopy all found to be a normal and they underwent one ivf cycle at very renowned center in that ivf cycle they given a 225 international unit of recombinant fsh for 8 to 9 days and they retrieved around 12 oocytes after that checking the oocyte they got only 6 m2 and out of this 6 m2 they got two embryos and they underwent that two embryo transfer and the unfortunately that cycle got failed so now how are you going to proceed for this couple so this is a very interesting case dr vivek first ivf cycle will always tell us problems related to gametes and the embryogenesis of uh, the couple so this is highlighting that that uh, she had a good dose or a normal dose of i ivf injections which were given but the number of eggs were good 12 is a good sufficient number but she did not have good number of mature eggs so she lost almost half of the eggs uh, because they were not mature so this highlights or this hints us to uh, problems which might be related to egg quality one thing or maybe uh, she has problem related to maturation of the eggs so these two things i will keep in mind if i am stimulating or doing another ivf cycle for this patient because i will try to rectify this problem taking learning from from her first cycle so that at least i get more mature eggs for this patient which will increase her chance of fertilization and more number of embryos also this patient had two uh, embryos which were formed and transferred uh, which explains because out of six mature eggs two embryos uh, whether they were day 3 or day 5 so that was not mentioned in the discharge summary okay so uh, for this patient i would rather uh, change maybe the injection type one thing or maybe increase the injection dose because the requirement might be little higher trigger which is very important uh, in an ivf uh, stimulation where uh, the egg maturation uh, process it starts with this trigger injection so i'll try to change the trigger injection if the data uh, the, what what was given uh, is available and uh, maybe trigger a little bit uh, with the advanced follicular size is what i will change in the clinical uh, ivf stimulation and uh, see what happens for this patient okay. can i ask you somewhat more specific like a what trigger you are preferring in this kind of patient exactly so this is again a good question uh, ivf patients usually have three kinds of trigger one is only hcg one is only agonist trigger and one is both which is called as dual trigger this patient has problem with the egg maturation so this patient will require dual trigger where we target trig- uh, maturation with both the triggers which are available in with an adequate dose as, as dr azadi already mentioned ki i want to give the dual trigger in this patient yes. and we are getting more and more maturation if we are using the dual trigger but what other aspect or the what are the detailing you are going to see inside the lab in cases of previous ivf failure okay so uh, in case of previous ivf failures uh, i would see as uh, for uh, for example for this particular case we know that the maturation rate is poor uh, the 50% of the eggs were mature so uh, these case are known for having very bad egg quality so uh, what i want to highlight is whatever half of the eggs were mature there are chances that the quality of these even if these egg, eggs were mature the quality wise they cannot be excellent because of this lower maturation rate so uh, beca- the thing i would consider in next cycle is uh, that i would go for ivf also that uh, sometimes it happens that the eggs are not cytoplasmically mature enough uh, so that they can uh, withstand the injections that are being performed through ICSI so i would 
uh, split the eggs again uh, in this case as well with ICSI and IVF but mainly I would perform ICSI in such cases uh, and another thing that I would like to highlight is uh, I would definitely go for as ma'am mentioned that uh, she would go for blastocyst culture so yes uh, I agree for that because uh, whatever e eggs we get mature eggs we get and uh, they should be cultured till day 5 so that we get to know whether the embryos are not getting arrested on day 3 stage and they, they are successfully forming a blastocyst. So can you tell us our audience about the what is the blastocyst and the what is the blastocyst culture? Okay, so uh, when we have embryos, uh, when we have eggs fertilized with the sperms, so we culture these fertilized eggs till day 5 or day 6 in the incubator or in the controlled conditions. So uh, where we check the em development of these embryos on daily basis. So after the day of fertilization, the next day that is the fertilization check where we check whether these eggs are fertilized successfully or not, where we can even remove the unfertilized or abnormally fertilized eggs. Then we can check the development on day three uh, where we can perform transfer or freezing depending on the decision. So day three is basically where we can see the number of cells, how many number of cells have developed or how the quality of these cells are. And when we again further allow these day three embryos to culture for next two days, that is total number of day five or day six, where we can see a developmental structure that is called uh, blastocyst. So uh, there are chances that not all the day three developed embryo will 100% be developed till blastocyst stage. So uh, this way we can select or probably deselect the embryos uh, which are unable to grow till day 5. So finally we have very well developed or grown embryos that we are sure of that will further grow successfully and then it can lead us to hopefully implantation and a pregnancy. So that means if its embryo is not growing up to day 5 in the culture media then how can it giving to the live birth? So like from day 3 to day 5 in the outside media if it's growing then only the transferring is required for that embryo. Thank you, Bhagyashree.